Hey, this is Mark from Boxeal Labs. I'm going to show you how to set up a text message based voting system using our Tropo platform and CouchDB, the document oriented database. So last fall I was in New York City at an event called CouchConf, which as you may suspect was a conference about CouchDB. And I gave a presentation about uh, text message based voting. And it occurred to me that um, the, the application that I demoed there, I had never done a proper screencast or blog post on it. And I get lots of questions from folks on how to do this, and they're surprised at how easy it is when I show them how to do what I'm about to show you in the next few minutes. So if you go to my GitHub profile at github.com slash mhead, you'll see the not very creatively named uh, CouchConf demo application. This was the, the, the application that I demoed uh, in New York at the CouchConf. And what it is is it's a Couch app. A Couch app is um, essentially an HTML5 and JavaScript application that's served directly out of CouchDB. CouchDB has the ability to serve um, uh, essentially web apps um, that, that use um, JavaScript and HTML5. So if you clone this repo, what you'll have is a Couch app. Uh, and you'll see when you look at the contents of um, uh, the directory you get when you clone it, you'll have all of the component parts of a Couch app. Now I have the Couch app utility installed. And in this blog post, I'll include some details on how you can get it and install it. So what we need to do if we want to use our Couch app is we have to have a running instance of, uh, of CouchDB, which, which I've got. Um, I have that here. I have a bunch of uh, databases that I use for various projects. But what I want to do is I actually want to push um, the contents of this folder into a specific database in CouchDB. And sticking with my lack of creativity, I'll simply call the database uh, CouchConf Demo. So I've done that now, and if I go back over to my CouchDB instance, I'll see this new database called CouchConf Demo. And I have a document in there. It's a design document, which will, if you look at it, show you all the bits uh, that make up the, the uh, Couch app. Now the part you're interested in is this index.html page, which if we go to it now, has nothing in it. We don't have anything to vote on um, for our text messaging voting app, so let's fix that. Inside of our Couch app, we've got um, um, the various categories that we're going to be voting on. Uh, and in this case, what I decided to do was, I'm, I'm, I fancy myself something of a, a rock historian, so I decided to do a, um, a voting app that looked at rock and roll songs that were greater than six minutes in length. Now there's, there's quite a few of them, but these are the ones that I ended up picking. I tried to pick a a mix of old and new. You can agree with me or disagree with me that these are the best songs to vote on. Um, and if you don't agree with me, you can set up your own text message voting app and pick your songs. But for this screencast, I've got this collection of uh, songs that we'll vote on. And what I want to do is I want to insert these into uh, the CouchDB uh, database that we just created. And I'm going to do that using the uh, CouchDB uh, bulk document API. So there's a specific endpoint called bulk docs that we want to hit with curl. Uh, we want to insert, excuse me, the actual document that I just showed you, uh, the contents of it. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we send in the appropriate HTTP header. And this is JSON, so let's tell it that it's JSON. Okay, so now I've just inserted those songs into my database, and you can see, okay, now I've got some categories to vote on. The actual vote that people will send in via text message is on the left-hand side here, and the vote totals are above uh, each of the categories. So what I want to do here, though, is I want to actually display a phone number that people can use to send um, their text message to. So to do that, what I've got to do is set up a, a Tropo application. So let's first look at what our Tropo app actually looks like. This is the actual app. Um, I ended up writing it in PHP because it's a pretty uh, widely understood, easy to use, general purpose language that Tropo supports. And it's not a very complex script. It really doesn't have to be. The, the real magic is in the Tropo platform and its ability to send HTTP requests from inside a, an executing SMS or voice app. So from within the actual Tropo execution environment, I can actually send 
HTTP request to a CouchDB instance that's running. In this case, it's going to be running on my local machine, but it could be running anywhere. It could be uh, a hosted instance uh, in a data center somewhere. It could be um, a Couch instance that, that's running an Iris Couch. It really doesn't matter. You can put this thing wherever you want. So if you wanted the entire application to live in the cloud and you wouldn't have to maintain a server, you could do that very easily with Tropo. So essentially what you'll do is you'll copy the contents of this file into um, a, a, a Tropo scripting application. I've done that here and I've got it set up. You can see uh, that I've got a phone number assigned. This is a, a New York City phone number that I've assigned to my Tropo app. What you'll want to do when you set this up is you'll want to add the particulars of your CouchDB instance um, in the settings, but that's essentially it. Then you save the file, create the application, and assign a new phone number. And in this case, I've assigned a 646 number. So what we want to do is we want to insert this into our database. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use um, the HTTP POST method. We don't really care what the document ID for this is. Um, we just want to use a really simple document structure. That should do it. And we want to make sure again that we use our proper content type. And that should do it. Okay, great. So we just inserted that document. And now if I go back to my app, I can see that I have a phone number. That I, so I can actually show this to people and share it publicly and actually instruct them to uh, send their um, their text message to this 646 number uh, and it will increment these vote totals. So before I can do that, since this particular instance of CouchDB is running on my local machine, I need to actually set up a connection to the outside world. And I do that through Tunneler. Tunneler is a service that lets me set up a secure tunnel. Um, I'm going to basically set up a tunnel from the remote port on the Tunneler service to port 5984 on my local machine, which is the CouchDB port. So once I've done that, anytime I send a text message to this 646 number, uh, we will see the vote total increment. I'm going to do that now. You won't be able to see it, but I'll uh, I'll take a screenshot of my my iPhone and I will uh, I will uh, show you what I did. So I'm going to vote for the Rolling Stones. I'm kind of feeling the stones of late. So this first column here, or this first row, should increment now that I'm sending a text message to uh, my Tropo app. And we can see that it does. Got one vote for the Rolling Stones. So what I also can do, since this, since Tropo is multi multi channel, I've got this set up so that I can actually make a phone call and use my um, Touchstone keypad to vote for these different categories. So let me do that now as well. Actually, let me use my old-fashioned phone. Please enter the number of the selection you wish to vote for. And I'm gonna I'm feeling a little green day now, so let's Thank you. Your vote has been recorded. So now you can see that the total for Green Day has been incremented by one. So when I insert when I when I when I send these votes into um, CouchDB from Tropo, I'm using the actual caller ID on the text messages and on the phone calls uh, as the document identifier. And that's important because what it allows me to do then is it allows me to control the number of times any specific phone number can vote. So if somebody was trying to rig the outcome and just place a bunch of phone calls or send a bunch of text messages, if that's what they were trying to do and game the system, um, that would not be a good outcome. We'd want to avoid that. So if I call this number back and actually try and vote again from this phone, I'll try and vote for Jimi Please Hendrix. Enter the number of the selection you wish to vote for. So let me say I want to give Jimi Hendrix a little love. Sorry, there was a problem saving your vote. So it actually won't accept another vote uh, from the phone with that same caller ID. So that's pretty much it. In just a few minutes, you can see we've set up a uh, a pretty nice, and pretty useful text message and phone-based voting application that you can customize any way that you want. If you don't want to do rock songs, you can do anything you want. If you want to vote on uh, what sort of uh, 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 store should be uh, set up down the street from you, you can do that. And since this is just HTML and CSS and JavaScript essentially, jQuery, you can you can structure this interface to look however you want it to. My very meager uh, design skills uh, probably shouldn't uh, uh, be emulated by people that, that, uh, that want to use this, but 
if you want to design this to look a, a very specific way, you can do that as well. That's the beauty of couch apps. So there you have it. Um, uh, Tropo paired with CouchDB, and you have in just a couple of minutes a, a really nice, really powerful text message-based voting app.